What's up everyone, welcome to another live stream of Avio Man and we are here today sitting in the Lima India Echo Oscar also known as Olvia Costa Smeralda International Airport in Sardinia, Italy um, We are on board the E195 V2 uh, from Xcraft, a beautiful plane, beautiful livery from Helvetic Airways which is an airline based in Switzerland um, has two hubs, uh, the main hub is Zurich and then they have another hub in Bern Berna, Bern, Bern I believe um, where uh, Lima Sierra Zulu Bravo which is like a very small freaking airport like a very little in the middle of the mountains it's actually I would consider Bern very similar to um, an Innsbruck the only difference is um, you get an ILS, there's a way, there's a direct pad, but if you want to take runway 2 3, there's a visual circling approach, which is actually pretty awesome because it's very tight. Uh, so we're going to be trying to do that uh, arrival into uh, Bern, and literally there's one terminal and a few parking spots in there. But let's get going here, uh, and this is actually the. Um, Airport I've been developing for Lima India Eco Oscar. One thing I want to I like to do is actually um, probably go back in time. Otherwise, we'll be landing and learn um, in uh, Bern a little bit too late. Let's do this. That's fine. Yeah, look at this nice texture. So basically, this is a just a freeware airport. Uh, kind of like a little testing that I've been doing. Um, and uh, it's actually coming up pretty good uh it's uh it's all not nothing custom made here yet yet um we working on a blender to make some custom buildings but i try to recreate as much as possible as the airport could look like uh, um looks like in real life uh, and uh, add a couple of things uh, and we can do a little tour um over here from here uh, the towers are a bit different but let's start with the terminal here the um, private jets terminal uh, this time of the year though it's packed it's jammed with private jets Sardinia is the one of the number one destination but captain sim welcome aboard HD simulation welcome aboard sir thank you for joining us uh, but yeah as you can see I mean put some uh, you know that's the VIP terminal put some luxury car except for you know a couple of vans and probably crew transportation um, get a parking lot here it's still a work in progress uh, um, the roads on the x-plane are not exactly coming out uh, correctly as they should be so I might have to do an exclusion with roads here so that the you can I can put my own roads um, uh, but yeah is that that's it basically uh that's one side i kind of tried to recreate the approach path they got the uh, you know the nice little buildings out here um the gas station there um but yeah it's actually not bad for a freeware airport alan welcome aboard sir welcome aboard long time i didn't see you see just like a couple of details that I've been adding here and there. I need to find out exactly what this building is and add that one. Um, that's the cargo facility. Uh, and then we have the oil, like the roof um, with all the, uh, you know, uh, fuel trucks, uh, um, the, f the fire department, and uh, all these gates have auto, uh, has auto gate, uh, and the marshallers too. Most of them I didn't put it on this ones uh, just because not that many people use it. I might do it later. We got some uh, ads in the here. Actually, there's a real ad in there. <laughs> there's an Indimissimi ad in there. Um, they, they all have auto gate. They all have the marshaller guiding you through. Um, it's actually I managed to get a good, decent job. Um, got some live actions going on with an easy jet a320 a over here let's get back into here and get the parking lot uh, with the bus stand again I need to work on the roads because uh, the explain default roads are eh, 
there's a supermarket here it's not a little is another supermarket but we don't have custom buildings here got the parking lot and the gates here as you see uh, it's actually not too bad you guys I see there's um this is the terminal and there's a bus here a terminal working quite a few details in here the renegade love that car I love this one um, of course I put the Lambretta in there um, you know there's a few things that needs to work and then we got the uh, bus terminal here we got the hangars from uh, Meridiana which is actually at Italy now with some of the old MD-80s that have been replaced now they're all phased out but they keep some of them. There's a little tower here that I found out. Get close to it. And uh, what we have got here. Gas station with a car wash. I remember there was a car wash here. So, I, um, you know, some live actions going on here. Um, this is a kind of like a, a construction. Uh, uh, constructions and, uh, you know, welding. All that kind of thing. Cute stuff in there. Um, but... I'm at school, I'll try to watch it. Alright man, no worries. You know, it's pretty actually pretty good. Got this one. Again, I uh, need to adjust the roads on X Plane because this roads run exactly on top of that thing there. Um which is not exactly very really realistic. Um but yeah, um and here I think what I'm gonna do next, there's a big building over here, a gigantic building on the cliff on the hill here. Um, with some cranes is still a work in progress so I want to do that because this will be nice when you depart or arrive to see that it's a pretty big tall building that's one say but without further ado let's jump in inside the cockpit today I'm gonna fly on the FO seat the reason why I'm gonna do this is uh, is just full practicality um, well first of all I need to learn how to sit on the first officer seat too the second reason is uh, uh, the approach into Berna um, you're gonna be flying on the left side of the airport There's, there will be some visual reference on the ground and uh, you need to uh, catch those visual reference and by staying on the captain's seat it's very hard to unless you rock the wing a little you lower the wing a little bit that's gonna be a you know tough job and um, you know if in real life you just you know, just pull out a little bit your head and you have your first officer helping you say, oh yeah, we just passed this. Um, this time we actually want to gonna do a different FO. I'll see, it's first time for me flying on the FO seat on the sim, with this plane. So, but yeah, let's get going here. So, first of all, we're gonna turn the batteries. Okay, everything good. Uh... Uh, Reeker Gamer, hello there, welcome aboard, sir. Thank you for joining us. And uh, <clears throat> get this battery on. Here we go. The ERJ loves to. The Embraer loves to cry every single time. Uh, okay, I think it has to be. On. Auto, auto, okay. Have display power now. Um, hmm. Let's do a couple of tests here. Fire test is good. Okay. On. Nav lights on, strobe lights off, everything else can go on. Logo can go on, inspection lights can go on since we are ground crew in the window heat. We keep that one on. Okay, like that. Pack search, yes, to stay out for now. Um, pretty straightforward thing. Uh, I like to keep everything basically on the 12 o'clock position. I'm not a E195 pilot, so might do something wrong. So just keep an eye on that. On auto, uh, gamer, Shrieker gamer, how is life? Man, it's pretty good. <coughs> life is pretty good, sir. How about yourself? How's everyone else here doing? Doors open, uh, flight director, okay, disconnected. Uh, 
So over here you get some messages. Usually um, there's a whole, the system takes about three minutes, what I heard, to do um, a whole full check of the systems. Um, but of course, I mean, it's an x craft, so I'm wondering if it's just the same FMC. Yeah, I don't need to look all the way down there. We can just look here. <clears throat> Okay, so let's uh, do um, come up here. Um, MCU index uh, status check uh, 1909. Uh, I didn't install the latest one for one reason. Uh, the 1910, uh, I heard like people had some issues with it. Um, HD Sim, you're, going, you're doing good so far, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. So, um, it's valid till the 12th of September, so a couple of days ago, but it's okay. Um, Alright, MCDU index. So, let's uh, pull up our charts and everything. Um, progress, uh, okay, let's depart, sure. So, we are departing from Lima, India, Eco, Oscar. Albia Costa, Esmeralda. Let me pull up the uh, charts here. Yeah, it is, it is just more function than EVE 145, true, it is. Uh, okay, I don't even know why Facebook sent me. Okay, let me see. Where's my plan? I think it's here. Yeah, let's check out the flight plan. Alright, move this one so I can read the chat. So let's see the latest weather into Albia. The Albia weather, it's giving us uh, 27 minutes ago. Uh, 18, 16, 20 Zulu, um, so 16, 20 Zulu, okay, a couple minutes ago, literally, zero, 050 zero at 6, um, okay, let me pull up Avitab here, and then get this thing going, oh, look at the frames, wow, beautiful, you might get Echo Oscar, so it's not even bad on frames, this airport that I've been working on, uh, it's pretty, pretty good, I hope I didn't, uh, didn't engage the brakes, okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna be runway is basically we have winds down runway runway zero five. Uh, we're gonna be departing to the northish, um, northeast. Um, mm -hmm. It's just six knots, which is not much of a difference. Uh, but we just keep an eye on that and have uh, yeah we can have this one here. Uh, okay, and then we can get the uh, departure. Let's see what's the departure we have on file for today. Um, we're gonna be flying uh, uh, direct actually to IO. Okay, overview RNAV departure. Ayacho, I think it's Ayacho, that's the. Huh. That's weird that we didn't get. Um, that's a weird flight plan to be honest. So weird shit. <laughs> Just no offense, guys, but so it's a weird flight, freaking flight plan we got today. There's a lot of coordinates and not. Um, um, but yeah, let's forget about. It. Let's go like this. Uh, Lee A O. Uh, let me see. Uh, Let's see what deep part. Oh God, so based on the Smeralda VOR. Are we going to the Smeralda VOR? No, Sarono, Odina, back. No. I guess we don't have a departure for today. Hmm, that's weird. 71 FPS, wow, look at that. Let's see if we have a, a VOR for that. So we can take that. No, I don't think there is.
goes to Saudish. Hello? Okay. Number two, three, no, um, that's fine. We don't need, we, we, a lot of time pilots don't fly, um, um, departure route. Select runway, runway zero five, uh, and, uh, how do you select this one? I forgot about this. Okay, yeah, that's select. Um, mm -mm. Okay, that's it. Uh, MCDU and to departure MCDU index arrival. That's what I'm gonna plan for. Though I'm gonna plan for an arrival for sure, and Lima Sierra Zulu Bravo. <coughs> There's only one runway. These are all grass runway next to it. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, it shows like a ton of airports. Uh, oh no, not this one. Back. Uh, let's see. Arrival. We got the. That's the last way for life do birki tell no let me see that's coming from the north though. right that's north that's coming from the north side what about this lardo okay Taking it from Lardo, I guess. This wheels. Okay, so I need to pay attention here. There's high terrains around here, okay? There's high terrains, so. Uh, is there a way I can see approach, okay? Uh, what are the winds in over there? Ooh, la la, you're going to land in Swiss? Yes, Jesus Christ, 68 FPS, yes sir. With Actus Sky, with my scenery and uh, X-Craft, uh, uh, Streamlabs and everything, so yes, yeah, coming out good. I'm not right. <laughs> winds are in Berna, 050 at 4. We can definitely use... Uh, Runway 32, city, see the city circling our nap. We do have an R nap for this, which is a city circling like this. Coming down like this, and you do this. Stay off, it gives you all the indications. See, that's a good, good thing. Alright, let's come back here. Winds are good, uh, and the visibility is good. The winds are variable for 340 to 110, so that's good. That's over there though. In uh, Albia, it's uh, 050, Kavok 1014. Um, so, what I want to do is actually have uh, have this uh, arrival. Let me see. Oh shit. Um, uh, that's the Lima Sierra Zulu Bravo. I, I completely forgot about the feature. Runway uh, two three. Select the star. Oh yeah, dark. There is no. That's not true. There is a star. Okay, so all we do. Uh, this is stupid. <laughs> Why there is no stars? Uh, okay, not for runway 3-2 maybe. Let's do... Okay, let's do for runway 1-4. Yeah, here we go. Okay, first... Okay, so we got the free 2 m uh, Flight Sim Boy, hi, what's up? Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Rock, welcome aboard. Flight Surgeon, welcome aboard, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the free to M, uh, free to Mike. It's this one here, I believe. Okay. Runway one four. We're gonna change it there. When we hit the place, we need to change it. Um. Okay. 
free to Mike. I think we're coming from the south. So I should take the Amrit and do the uh, reversal here. The, um, go over here. It's um, Teardrop. Oops, like that, yeah. Alright, we can do that. Oh, or, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the other one we said we can do? These are the same, right? Yeah, that's the same. Close this one. One seven zero. Let me see. Is this one here? I like to do the bit. This one. Let's do the uh, three to my. Yeah, that's the that's the one. Select the star. Uh, approach transition. Uh, it's uh, Birki ILS. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we have that in set, and then we need to change everything. Yeah, the e jets are not exactly. They're not. Um, okay, so we got that one in. We kind of have to go on to the flight plan now. Oops, that's why. I couldn't. Okay. MCDU index the departure set. To sit edit. There's non uh, MCDU and start edit. Uh, Three beer key, okay. MCDU index uh, at route waypoint. So, oh, okay. So it's the first. The first waypoint is a VOR. So and it's Ayo Ayacho. I think that's the VOR. Okay, Ayacho. Ooh, I was right. Ayacho. And the altitude we want to be is at Ayacho. Flight level 180. Okay. Say, we don't have, unfortunately, any. Um, okay, fix. The next one is we don't have any routes or anything. Captain Sim, welcome aboard. I'm doing good, sir. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm doing great. I still under the weather. My throat is slowly starting to clear up, but... Okay, so... Liblo 180. Stays at level 180 for quite a bit, though. Okay, yeah. Not shit. No shit. Save. Okay. I actually bro okay I from actually we do have uh, I think Liblo oh it's Liblo is that what I put Liblo or Libro Liblo Airways A9 Liblo to Akuti I think it's this one the next one so Akuti yes Akuti Okay, and the next one is direct to Genova VOR. Go fake on November, Genova VOR. And uh, we have to be at uh, what altitude? Uh, Genova is going to be. Okay. 34,000 feet uh, save, I believe. Because then Saronno VOR, the VOR of Saronno, Sierra Romeo November, this, which is uh, we're going to be flying over um, Malpensa like that. Uh, Saronno is going to be at 340, confirm save. Then Odina. 
fix uh, Odina is uh, an arrival into okay. Odina Odina at uh, 340 yeah that's good enough that's already there save uh, okay so soon uh, we going to be crossing into Switzerland and it's going to be a fix so soon <laughs> I see her getting yeah great I'm getting used to it it's not actually it's pretty straightforward once you learn it it's actually pretty straightforward so soon uh, uh, 46 8 yeah that's what it is right 46 uh, and 8 also always check the um, value here Monin I don't understand what this is, this altitude change. Okay, Monin, here we go. Monin. And then we're going to Monin. Oh, we're going to Free, maybe. We're not going to Birki, right? We're going to Free. Uh, let me double check. Avitab, uh, Free. Yeah, Free. We're going to Birki later. Free. Um, okay. These are waypoints, I think. Lardo, Birki. Uh, okay. That's enough with the flight plan because then from free. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Route edit. Let me double check. Page two, I think it's next here. It's free. Okay. After free, uh, we're going to start edit. We have a double code here. So what I have to do is go into um, CD index, route edit, and remove this from here. Delete. Awesome. We should have a, a pretty straightforward flight plan now. Uh, we're gonna have to check now in a second, and in order to do so, I forgot you need to set it. <laughs> so you do that. Okay, that's good. I know that. I don't need you to say that. Huh. Uh. Let's see, we have a dumper, it checks I, is it here, how are you set to plan mode? I completely forgot how to do that. You guys remember how to do that? By the way, it has to be a standby, thank you. Uh, how to get this thing going like that? Uh, yeah, you and I are the only simulator that don't have an issue with the FMC. Everybody else does. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm okay with this FMC. Once you learn it, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's uh, yes, yeah, a little bit different, but I mean, is it that much of a difference? No, it's not. Oh, it's da here. I completely forgot my dumbass. Um, maps, the navigation. Okay. Uh, we still have to set the everything here. Uh, MCDU index. Uh, um, okay, let me see. Performance. Uh, uh, oh, we need to set the performance too. Uh, weight and balance. Okay. What's my weight and balance today? So we got 110 passengers. How do you see the number of passengers? Souls on board. Plus the flight attendants, I believe, right? That's fine. Wow, okay. That's good. Cargo! How much cargo we got? Uh, 1.8. Uh, 
Uh, this is in pounds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you do that? Uh, performance three unit change in kilograms. Thank you. All right, pounds uh, and uh, one point eight. That uh, uh, sounds about right. I'm going to call via this. What are you trying to do right now? Uh, I'm going to call via Discord. Hold on. A cargo adjuster. Can do this. Look at CGI like that. Okay, max setting. Okay, 17.8. Uh, do we get a zero fuel weight here? Max uh, weight. Okay, current 407. Uh, My, is that my yeah, that's my cat snoring guys sorry about that and we got 4.8 so basically five let's quit what is it that sounds about right uh, we can actually go till 6, so let's do this. That's good. That's fine. Okay. Good. Everything is good. Uh, payload is 13. That's fine. That's good. It's fine. Mario HD, welcome aboard. I wish you could change the units in that loading screen. Yeah, same. Do go. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard. Okay, we got everything here. Um... Okay, so we have. Uh, is it? Does this thing loads? I'm not sure if it loads. So it's 19. CG. Okay. Fuel, uh, two five nine six, two five nine six, two five nine six. Okay. Um, payload weight is one zero 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 two. Okay, how do I change the CG? Um, does it say anything? Okay, so we got this one in. Um, max setting is there. Uh, the, but the CG, is it something we touch in here? Let me see. Um, what's the name? HD Sim, what was the, what was the thing with the, uh, with this? FTP is doing a flight now. Good. Okay. I'm trying to see the manual here. Do you guys do you guys know how do I set this one up? How do I set that one up? Not sure, right? I bet. Uh, I think it's not sure about this uh, uh, shouldn't be this changing by itself I don't know how to calculate the CG on uh, on the E195 right okay we'll see anyways uh, flops one is good uh, to Take off, or we can do this one. Calling on Discord. Are you calling me? Cause I'm not getting anything here. Come in the general chat, man. Come inside. Come in the general chat. Uh, let me see. Where's the general chat?
Alright guys, let's see how let's go. Performance one good, performance two, MCDU index good. Uh cruising altitude is gonna be three four zero. Oh airspeed, duh. Final cruise altitude is what's the final cruising altitude? Airport elevation, where is that? Let's see final cruising altitude. HD, if you can come in, um, in, in voice chat, I'm here. Okay. Good. Uh, cruising airspeed and Mach number. We're gonna check that one up quickly here. Uh, we are Mach point seven three. Ooh, that's disgusting. Point seven three. Okay. Wind direction and speed is two seven two. Two seven two and the speed is fifteen. Cruising out. Okay, uh, it's six. Okay, so one hour and six minutes, that sounds about right. Performance three, perform a landing approach, okay, performance two, no, we're good. Are you still calling me, um, or you're calling me somewhere else, maybe? Let me, let me invite him uh, to the voice chat, hold on. Where is he? I can't see HD sim on my HD. You're not on my. You're not on my. Uh, I don't think you're on my Discord all this time. <laughs> all right, good. We got that one in. MCDU index good. Uh, autopilot's good. Two hundred target speed. Target altitude is uh, um, three four zero. Okay, target uh, speed is two five um, two four zero, and vertical speed is uh, one thousand eight hundred. Okay, we got everything in there. Uh, we're gonna set uh, MCDU index, uh, initialize FMS, and execute flight plan. Execute and done. Here we go, we got the flight plan here. Awesome, thank you. Now, uh, in order for us uh, to check uh, how the flight plan is, progress, I believe. Flight plan. Uh huh. And uh, maybe the range, change the range too. That's fine. Then, next page. Free. Okay. That's how it is here. I see. I see how it is. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't see how it is. Free beer key. Why is it going that far away? It's going here, beer key, and then he's doing some weird shit there. Well, we keep an eye there. When we get close, we keep an eye. I cannot hear you on the voice chat. Uh, let me see if it's because of me or because of what. Uh, hold on. I betcha the audio is coming up from a different. Hold on. User settings. Audio. We need to go. We need to get going here, guys. Voice and video. Input. To Try to talk in there. Okay, good. That's fine. 
All right. Alessandro Chiappa, buon pomeriggio, buonasera. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard, sir. Okay, let's get going here. <laughs> this has been sitting on the ground forever. Um, five here, we can turn on the APU. Two, three, four, five, awesome. Come back here and check a couple of things. And the APU is rising. I called you again, okay. Come in the voice chat, I can't see you. I don't know why, I'm, I can't hear anything from the voice chat though. Okay, and then let's come down here and get into the plan mode. Thank you, sir. Systems, the status, flight controls, the fuel, electrical, and uh, we good in there. Um, flight directors can get, keep it on. Uh, altitude, uh, we're gonna have to select the altitude. 340 is set. Uh, heading. Uh, it's going to be 054. Zero five four set and uh, what's our um, let me see I can hear you but for some reason you can't hear me uh, try to yeah try to talk in there because I can't hear at all okay I don't I don't see you yet I don't see you talking which is weird maybe Let's try this again, okay. Voice and audio, let's check. Uh, push to talk, uh, let's try to change to... Can you hear me? Okay, now I can hear you. Uh, Alright, what's up? I think it was on my, on my side. Oh. Okay, let's we close the door. I'm only going to be here for a few minutes, it's getting really late. Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door has now closed. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Alright, so we're going to go and here. Yeah, you should see the approach though into that. That approach is beautiful. Alright, if you mean, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, it, it was in my end. It was in my end. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it looks like... It looks like you got it now. I mean, it, it, you, you set up everything that uh, the way you put it. I mean, did you have any question or anything else? Uh, no, I think we're good. Back on uh, bleed uh, not is to be off. Uh, if you gen. Yeah, you, you did all the performance pages? Performance page is done. Um, the only thing I couldn't find is the CG. I couldn't. Ah, uh, when. When you when you did the load, uh, what CG did it show you on the load sheet? I don't, that, where does it show? It shows the max settings. It doesn't show me a CG number. Okay, usually when I do the load sheet, whatever that the uh, the fuel is that's required and uh, the, yeah, you know, the, uh, souls and on board, then you, you normally you will see at the bottom. If it's in the green, then you're good, and it will tell you what the CG is. So okay. it all depends on the slider. I will tell you what the CG it's, is. It's in the green, but it doesn't say estimated CG. What's the CG? No, no, what? See, that's the only thing that I would say did better. So if it's in the green, then you're good. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, if it's in the green, then you're good. Now, in the, one of the performance page, I don't know if you can, uh, if they give you the actual CG. I forgot what page that is. It says 51. Okay. Okay. And that's yeah, that's your CG. So I think you're good, man. You're good. And then you you had all your uh uh what about your uh or your autopilot? Do you, do you even set up that page? Uh, your climbing out, uh, your I mean your climbing speed. Yeah, I'm just wondering what happened to the plane. What the hell happened? I'm not looking at your stream now. No, the plane just like it's it's in a different position. What? You know what? I was looking at it while you were doing all this. It seemed like everything was moving around you. So, I don't know, man. You need to kind of look because, you, you know, that has nothing to do with what you're doing. But, you know, because <laughs> stuff was moving, you know, like like they were moving your plane, like like the uh, pushback was moving you around and stuff. You I know? had no so, idea what was going on. I had parking brakes set. That plane was just, just moved. Okay. Whichever. <laughs> That's fine. That's not fine, but so, it's fine. 
Alessandro Chiappa che fa in, uh, stiamo volando su uh, Helvetic okay. Airways ok no. But, uh, so once you have your climb out speed set up then, then I think you're, you're done man Ok, yeah, we're good. I think I'm gonna push and start. Actually, I don't even need to push because it's already pushed back. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, listen, I'm gonna go watch you on my, on my bigger screen then. Oh, right? Awesome, so, man. Awesome, awesome. All right. All right. Sucks that we have to do this. Ok, so GPU, we can turn on, get the GPU out. Awesome, good. Uh, and we can start the start procedure. Um, How long did the scenery take you to make? Uh, a day and a half, maybe. Same. What okay. exactly did you do? Did you just use the overlay editor? Overlay editor and wed. That's it for now. Okay. All right, engine number two. Okay, we do have an engine star here. Is it positive engine star? I think I accidentally sent. I think my stupid phone glitched and it sent an invite to Spec Life's Discord to I think three people by mistake. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Yeah, but there's a chance that it did. I don't think my engine started. Avio man, did you press the true switch at the top? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I remember, um, I remember the first time that you and I both started this plane, we both could, we both had problems with the flight directors because of that. <laughs> yeah. And then Valdemar, Valdemar had the same thing in his first stream. All right, hold it. on. We don't have a positive engine start. I don't think so. And. Heard By the way, uh, once again, uh, give for uh, beating cancer. It's a very amazing thing to do. Not many people can say they've done it. Yeah. So, yeah, just like... Pull that, you managed to pull that off. Let's try again now, this engine start. I can't tell if my clock is inaccurate or if the clock You're good. on the... Engine start, master caution. Yeah. I think we're good. Yeah, we got a positive engine start. Woo! What exactly happened? Uh, I didn't have the bleeds. Oh, okay. Okay, second engine start. Shit, come on. Okay, wait, Avio man, did you uh, move the time? Huh? Yeah, that's why. Okay, I, I was went like, a little bit. I was like, the, U the UTC time does not match the UTC time, like, like the actual UTC time. So, like, that's the only way that it makes sense. Second engine, it's not starting for some reason. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wow, your second engine, according to the same where you are, is going into overspooling. Yeah. Let's turn it off. It's weird that the N2, that the, the, the ITT is rising. Right. It started the second engine, so I don't understand why it's not starting. I think we got it now. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. It's not in the green. It's not in the yellow. But surgeon, it says I still have the grow, but no longer consider life threatening. Oh, so that's good. That's good to hear, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna change the time. Just very confused about what's happening with your left engine start right now. Yeah, I know, right? 
Like, I'm just legitimately very confused. Okay, wait. I think you've got a positive end to start now. Yep. yep. Oh, no, I got it. I, ju I got it back. Yeah, I got it back. Okay, so we got everything auto, 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 uh, nose gear, taxi, nose, uh, okay, this is good, inspection can go off, uh, nav lights are good, everything else is good. That's good, good to go, let's go, let's get rolling actually, we're done waiting, we can go on the, being on the ground for forever. Park breaks off. Break check. Uh, okay. Make sure I need to go the other way. I'm not sure if the plane is making any sounds or what. Okay, left and right is clear. So weird to fly on the FOC to be honest though. Flaps one. Uh, the trim. I thought the trim would go up by itself, but it didn't. It it should. Maybe um. No, you know what? I think you have to set it on the ground and then after. And typically what you do is, if you enter it into the McDo, the trim McDo, the trim will automatically set. If you what? If you enter it into the McDo, if you enter the trim value that you need into the McDo, it'll automatically set it to that. Oh, okay. You don't have to do any tinkering like you do with the Zebo. And uh, set flaps one. One sec, I'm just gonna be right back. All right. He's correct about the trim setting? Okay. Alright, landing lights can go on. Flight attendant, please please be seated for takeoff. Okay, strobe lights can go. The click spot, damn it. change the sounds here it's too loud uh the interior i can go off a little bit
Approaching zero five. Okay, runway is clear. Uh, approach is clear. Runway is clear. On runway zero five. Okay. Approaching zero five. <laughs> Here we go. Full power set. Sixty nine. Oh shit! I didn't calculate my B speeds. Are you gonna RTO it? V one. Oh, Rotate. V two. It says uh, the B speeds. It already gives them B, yeah. Once you enter the weight into the There's thing, a do traffic. It, it There's a traffic next to me. Is there a traffic next to me, guy? Is this Elba? I get. What? I'm getting. This uh, Albia. Oh, I forgot to press FMS. Ortho looks beautiful. And here we go, we're going on a nose dive again. I do have any real world hour racing. Let me see. Any real world hours in recently? Um, no, I'm actually uh, grounded from medical. I need to get my medical. Um, renewed and everything there are a couple of things I need to take care of uh, um, so I'm waiting to that to clear up we saw the 70 but I uh, that that I that might be because your speed is set to slower than it's at yeah that's what it is it, it, I remember once I was I don't remember where and I took off and said no nope. Yeah the ortho by the way looks very beautiful here Yeah see that it does that weird thing with descending when you oh. Yeah I should be good though now You are HD Sim says it? you have to fly to the fix before you activate autopilot. Oh really? I have never. Uh, it worked. It worked for me. Like uh, oh. I didn't fly to it. It worked. I have never had that problem. Was there a traffic coming into Lima and Yako, Oscar? You can check that traffic. Oh shit! Yeah. Let's see. Seven three seven three hundred. It's it on uh uh it's it's on uh, Sardinia, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got EasyJet, um, EasyJet. It's uh, not on no, East. Not, I don't. It's a private. I don't even know what airline. I think it's private. Oh. Leo had Leo, and then I'm going to. There's no ATC. No, no ATC. Well. There, Carson would get really upset with some of the ops that are flying being close to you right now. There's an Aerolineas Argentinas plane flying from Rome to... To Portugal? No, Corsica. Oh, Corsica. And it's Aerolineas Argentinas. <laughs> Let me reduce the volume a little bit. It's too high, I think. Uh, Dougal said, "All oh, right, I've been told I want to get my PPA reinstated due to fitting race. Apparently, oh, okay, yeah, my um, 
it's not in, uh, it's not a big deal. I just uh, have to uh, clear some BS from my medical. Um, happens in usually every pilot's career where something happens and you need to, uh, you know, just adjust it a little bit. Uh, one thing I want to do is actually. There we go. Okay, that's fine. All right, we are en route to uh, Berna. Let's do a check, uh, everything looks fine. It's so weird to fly in the FO position though. Wait, uh, Dougal, which Altimeter setting. do you, um, not which airline, which aircraft do you fly? If you, if you can see in the chat, like, please do tell which airplane you fly, or which, like, family you fly. I think, I, I don't think it's airline, I think it's, it's talking about PPL, so I think it's... Oh. <coughs> Oh, did you see that silver? I always got the ATR uh, 72 now, also. It's already... I saw that. Yeah, yeah it's, all, it's already in uh, uh, Tampa and Orlando. I think it's already... Well, Sub 340 is old. So the the thing is, like, the, yeah. the Sub 340 is going to be replaced by the ATR 42, which is the smaller version of the ATR. It's the smaller ATR. And then they have the... So they have the ATR-42 and the ATR-72. The ATR-42, as it says, has 42 seats. The 72 has 72 seats, so it's bigger. Much bigger, actually. Oh, okay. So they order, and they had the ATR-42 coming in, and they say that they might upgrade also and get ATR-72s, uh, which is actually what's happening, as in... Uh, uh, they're getting the ATR 72s already, which is cool. Are, um, are, are, is the 72 also a prop plane? Yeah, they're all prop, prop planes. It's the ATR. Yeah. I, I've been on the 42. I've never been on the 72. That's why. The 72 is the same. But the thing is, like, the ATR, all these ATRs are, uh, ATR, even the 42 and the 72, they are ATR 600s. So the new generation of ATRs, so they all have the glass cockpit. Basically, it's a, an easy transition from uh, ATR to Airbus. It's traffic, okay. 6,700 above me. Who's that? What's it called? Oh, it's right uh, right above me. It's uh, Oh, it's the Argentina one, Aerolinas Argentina. Let's take a screenshot of it. <laughs> A realistic ops. Here we go. What's it called? I um, I been. I honestly, I'm a bigger fan of the ATR, of flying the ATR like as a passenger than I am the Q400. Yeah, the ATR is spacious, super spacious. The, the ATR is spacious, but the main problem with both of them is the excruciating noise that you have to sit with. Yeah. Because of the props. Dugal but said. The, uh, is a better jump yeah. Dugal said. I can't hear TFS anymore. What's TFS? Me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, you can't hear him? Oh, because I have the volume low. That's why. Now you should be able to. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing. What on earth is TFS? And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Am I on VNAV mode? Why is this a vertical uh... speed? You are you should be on VNAF mode according to dash. But yeah, uh, over here it says VS though. That is normal. It will say that. Okay. It will say that until it's according to the VNAF profile. Okay. Let me see if I can get the V uh, the profile view. How do you get the profile view on this plane? I didn't know um, you could get the 
Yeah, I think there is. I mean, I saw it before. <clears throat> you don't if need anyone knows how to do it, if anyone in this chat knows how to do it, um, feel free to input your answers. Yeah. That's not too horrible. If you just tell, like, feel free to hit us up if you know how to do that. Uh, uh, VSD. We have to press uh, terrain and then VSD. Vertical simu uh, situation display, I think. Just oh, okay. Yeah. Speaking of vertical situations, I saw his. Uh, I I know it's vertical simulations. I just Enough. said situations. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of vertical simulations, that G the the Spokane scenery is amazing. Yeah. I didn't download it yet. I want to. I'm just waiting to. Just waiting till I can actually take it and. Fly. Oh, I don't have it. I just saw it on X Play 1972's stream. Oh yeah. So I was wondering if the flight plan in here. Yeah, it's not the same. I I, I wondered that last time too. On the seats, it shows a moving map, but it's not our flight. We're not going to New York. Yeah. It. it um. It shows a, um, a, what's it called? It shows a generic moving map. Yeah. But the Flight Factor A320 actually shows a correct on the seat. Oh, oh really? I At least it, did for one, it I didn't, did for one of my flights. I don't know if it... it I didn't test it yet. I need to. Oh, yeah, that flight's landing in New York. It's Google Maps, too. You can see the Google Maps. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're flying near, uh, is it Ajaccio or Ajaccio? Uh, Ayacho. Ayacho VOR. Ayacho, yeah. Chio, Ayacho. Ayacho. It's Ayacho, but it's in France. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, Ayacho is it's France. It's not Ajaccio, some funny way of saying it. Ajaccio or some uh, weird French way. Ajaccio. I have oh, are you are you Korean now? Anyan Haseo. Konimashi. Anyan Haseo. Any Korean? Oh, that's why the landing lights are on. No, off, off. Any Korean people? I'm sorry, we're butchering your language. Completely butchering the language. Oh, I forgot to put the electronic timer. Damn it! I always forget that. Wow, Hong Kong Center is on, and it's 1.43 in the morning there. Wow. Someone's not getting enough split sleep tonight. Uh, that is dead. There's no electronic timer, right? How do you set the electronic timer? That's the chrono. I want to set the electronic timer. I have actually never set the timer on that plane. I always set the chrono. Because I've never figured out how... Like I've never figured out how to work the bottom, the bottom thing in the box. Oh. Well, I think he's climbing slowly today. You know why? You know why it's climbing? Yeah. Because what it does is it, it calculates the average rate of climb that you need to get between two waypoints. <laughs> so what it does is it, it keeps you going at that steady climb. Rather than going at the climb that's actually published in the, uh, oh. in the, so what I usually oh, do. Oh shit! I forgot the with... APU has to be turned off. Oopsie doopsie. I don't know. If you, you probably did this, but did you go putting all the information? Did you go into your flight plan and input like each waypoint at the altitude that it? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, then, then, then because if you did that, then that it's doing its normal. It normally does that. Okay. Because, like, I remember there was one day when Carson and I were flying from, from Jackson Hotel, and I climbed at, like, two feet per minute up to 30,000 feet because the distance was, like, 300 miles between... Oh, yeah. ...and, and the next waypoint. So it climbed at, like, I 15 or something feet per minute. So I downloaded by recently the um, what's it called? Um, shit. Um, well, I didn't download shit, but um, what the fuck? Um, Fork Boy. 
the folk boy um ortho and uh, I thought oh, the fourth boy ortho yeah, yeah I downloaded no no not for the not for here but for Texas um but I just realized it was like it would take me forever it was taking me forever just to first to download the thing and then also to uh because you have to convert the DDS files and say so why should I pick yours instead of me going on ortho and doing it is it because it's color corrected? Is that the only reason? I think so, right? Because it's not saving me time. I have no clue, actually. Have you ever tried to the the fork boy um, thing? I good. actually have not tried the fork boy or the. Oh, shit. I had the water bottle here. Oh, here we go. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't test it out yesterday. It took me a. Uh, uh, Almost two hours to download it and two and a half hours to convert the files. Hmm. Which could be quite a bit. Um, I want to see what's my performance here MCDU index performance. Uh, okay. Um, autopilot. Am I, yeah, I think I'm doing a thousand eight. No, I'm not even doing a one thousand eight hundred feet per minute. It's even less than that. Uh, I've just swapped uh, all my USA Ortho for Fort Boy. I don't know. I feel uh, I'm good with my with my Ortho. Uh, the V states are actually amazing easy to install and everything like the v-states are so much easy to install than the fort boy um so i don't know i like the colors of the v-states i'm gonna have to check the fort boy texas now and see how it looks like um but i'm gonna i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay with v-states i like v-states actually vertical steam is doing an amazing job with that so you just swap that up. All right. So 1,300 feet per minute. That's what I'm doing. It's on vertical speed mode. Hmm. I just realized. No, oh, no, actually, now it's in VNAV. Now it's in VNAV. Didn't go a little bit faster than that. All right, so we're climbing. Guys, right, guys, let's not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it took us forever to depart, bro. Uh, we don't need ice protection right now. Well, let's put it on just in case. It's not gonna harm us. Um, Oh wow, look at this. The Orto. And the clouds. This 
this even default? Oh no, it's not. Okay, I was like, wow. It looks beautiful. I like how you can um, see the difference between ortho and default. Like, I remember that day we, we were flying from Orlando to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. And, like, you could literally see it, like, because you were flying on the Alabama Georgia border. Yeah, because I didn't have the V States Alabama. I remember that now. Looks like this mountain obscuration here. That's some beautiful also here for Italy. I think it's being level. F this is level 15. Holy shit. Level 15. Not bad at all, guys. Level 15. I mean, it's altitude, but I mean, how high are we compared to this? Look at this. Ah, wow. That's beautiful. Perfect image. Elvetia. Helvetic. Actually, it's a nice livery, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I'm a fan. Uh -huh, I like it. Well, finally, this plane is decided to climb. good with the fuel on board uh, everything else looks good uh, okay MCDU index progress uh, uh, top of climb is 342 why is 342 uh, three, uh, uh, 341 from top of descent okay okay um, max 74 it's fine, max 73 is good enough for me. Speed brakes are good. Uh, okay, everything else. Flap and slot. Retracted. Okay, it's 340. You should be able to stabilize and you climb there. Well, we're doing some cloud surfing, I believe. Are we? No, we were though. Oh yeah, we're doing some tiny cloud layer right below us. So that's cute. Not been to Italy for many years. Beautiful part of the world. Yes, it is, sir. It is. Got some... Uh, cloud layers about this is very high cloud layers uh, over here though oh, okay fats the seatbelt sign can't go off uh, oh shit so I'm wondering so there's a HUD power what's the HUD power does anyone knows it I don't actually there's no head up this place though, right? I don't think there's a the on this Also, what I've something I've been wondering, have they ever updated that plane? The E95? Like since the X Plane 10 version, have they updated that? I don't know. I know this is called E95 V2, so I hope they updated it. You guys see uh, um, V1 Simulations uh, Airbus A330 video? No, I did not see it yet. The um, the ILS didn't work. What do you mean didn't work? Like it the 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 um, you know how in Airbus it auto tunes the frequency, right? Yeah. Well, in his the localizer captured, but the glide slope never. Oh, he he's sort of nose dove and then he, he got a pretty decent landing out of it but he like and I was and I was just thinking to myself that's that's jar design in a nutshell <laughs> <laughs> Dougal says that he rode his motorbike all the way from the UK down to Brindisi and then took a ferry to Corfu oh wow that's a pretty good ride Brindisi Brindisi it's uh, I was thinking of doing a flight to Brindisi today um, 
on board the Ryanair. Um, isn't that the isn't that the airport that we flew that you that we flew on that one stream? We did flew to Brindisi once. Yeah, we did. Um, it was a circle to land procedure. Yes, it is. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we did that one. Yeah, we did that one. Um, what we do? This is gonna be a circle to land too, by the way. Actually, this is gonna be the new Innsbruck. Um, the thing is that Innsbruck is famous is because it's a larger airport and has more airlines, but yeah. Um, and Ber Berna, which uh, which is the hub for Helvet one of the hub for Helvetic, uh, and I think another airline too flies in there, but um. They have the same thing. You have to get the ILS for the opposite runway or the RNAV, break off and go visual. And uh, there are waypoints that you need to touch, like uh, this intersection road, the M1 highway, and then uh, stay east of the railroad. And uh, as a matter of fact, oh, only two. Wow, we dropped the viewers quickly. Okay. <laughs> Happens. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me brief the approach now that we are, you know, not busy. Because we're going to get busy very we, according soon. According to my YouTube app, we have three right now. Fewer. Okay, in my stream that shows two, but it's fine. We got, this week, we got all, all the way to 10, 12. Oh, today is a little bit slow, probably. It's a weekday. Um, so basically, we're going to come over Birki. From Birki, um, I have we will have to do the um, procedural turn basically, and let me see. Let's see what arrival. Landing in runway at Key uh, West. You should do a landing in grass runway at Bird. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Did the seaplane runway? <laughs> <laughs> the city are never one. F oh shit! Okay. Let's frame rate drop a second here. What's going on here? Okay, something was loading. I guess. I've actually. Have you been to Burn? Uh, like in real life. And now my Discord is great. What? I will... Did you say in real life or on sim? Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm just, just going to come back. Okay, so from Birki, uh, we do the approach like this. So when we arrive over Birki, we're gonna do like this. Come over and do uh, a reversal, course reversal like that. Teardrop, basically. We're gonna hold. Come, come out here. Take it like that. Take it like this. And go like this. So basically, come in. Over. Out back. Here you I go. was saying, have you been there in real life, Burn? Ah, uh, I've been to. I've, I've been to Burn in real life. Yeah. Stop yeah, by. I, not I was, long ago. To the train. I changed trains there once. Oh, you changed the train? Yeah, because we went on one of those like panoramic Mountain Dew trains to the Alps from uh, Burn. Like I think it was like from. Burn to Zurich, I think, or like close to Zurich, and then we, it was like a, it was like a round trip train from Geneva to there. I think the place was Interlaken. The place was Inter so we went Geneva to Interlaken both ways. Okay. And then, but the itinerary required us to change trains at Burn on the way there and on the way back. So I remember we changed trains there. <laughs> Interesting place. Hmm. It's very small for a world capital. Like I must. Say, yeah, it is small. 
It's actually it's actually pretty though. It's a pretty city. Burn. Yeah, like the two cities in Switzerland that are like big are Zurich and Geneva. Like I've been to Geneva so many times. Like, oof, so many. I've uh, I've been there once. I think yeah, once. I remember the there was a there's a big fountain in the middle of the lake. Yeah, there's a big yeah. Cool. I've been to the UN uh, in uh, in Geneva. United Nations oh, nice. headquarters there. Yeah. Uh, so in Birk, so over Birk, we're gonna do a teardrop, and then come back do the holding if we have to do a holding. Uh, maximum fly level one one zero one minute, uh, or one minute turns or some weather up ahead. So is this holding pattern part of the road? Uh, you probably have to do a folding pattern. Um, just because of the high terrain around us. Yeah. The Alps are just amazing. We rode over them going one way and under the other way. Oh, so which, uh, did you remember which road you take to Dugal? Because I've been to Paso de los Stelvio and uh, Paso del Fascano. Um, but uh, like uh, if you go under, if you go above, you do probably Paso de los Stelvio coming up from that side. If you're coming from Switzerland, that direct north, uh, Paso del Foscano de los Stelvio. And if you're going under, you could probably do the Frages, no, not the Frages, um, the uh, Mont Blanc tunnel, yeah. That's a long ass tunnel. I remember driving into that tunnel under the Alps. It takes like a takes a long time. I think like almost half an hour. I don't know. It's a very long ass tunnel. You have to go super slow. You have to keep a distance from the other uh, other aircraft, the other car in front of you, uh, and it can be quite expensive too. I don't know if it was many years ago. Okay, well, fair enough. I remember a big tunnel, but I I took a a tunnel. I took a train to the big tunnel. Uh, where in Italy or? So from uh, Milan to Geneva. Uh, you took the train. Yeah, there's. I mean, there are tunnels. I think the train trains are different. They have different tunnels. They don't share. The main two, the most famous uh, tunnels into the Alps are the Frages and the um. And the other one, uh, what's it called? The uh, Mont Blanc. Uh, oh. It's called actually in Italian Traforo del Monte Bianco and Traforo del Freges. But um, uh, I think to go to Geneva, you probably have to take the Freges. The Freges one, because you cross into I France. Was... What? Uh, and you... then the longest time I've ever been in was the that That was long. In Japan, you said? No, the, the Channel Tunnel from London. Oh, oh, i never been to the Channel Tunnel. I always flew to England. It's, much exp it's too expensive sometimes to uh, use the Channel. It takes longer. Yeah, it's, like, it's like significantly cheaper to fly. Yeah, I mean, with EasyJet and Ryanair, it's definitely cheaper to fly there. Um... So let me set over here information. One 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 zero point one is the localizer. Um, what to approach? Oh no! Let's set up the R. Oh, the ILS, not the RNAV. Set the ILS one four. Italian drivers are totally insane, bro. They're not. They that is not that they're insane. They know what they're doing, man. Trust me. You will find less accidents in Italy than in the U.S. I mean, yes, fender benders, but that's because the roads are small. But major accident, there are just a few of them. People know how to drive it usually in Italy. It's a little bit chaotic because the roads are a bit chaotic. You think about these roads, um, like for example, the SS1, which is the um, one of the it, it was basically an ancient Roman road like a uh, it that road it's still is the same road that the, the ancient Romans used to use to travel 
they just repaved it uh, with asphalt and make it a little bit modern but same curves same exact layout uh, same length and width so just imagine that uh, some of the roads in Italy are still used uh, from the ancient empire Roman empire yeah and I'm glad they do that though, I'm preserving and say, oh my god, I used to travel, to, I just say, I'm traveling on the road that Julius Caesar, like uh, Caesar used to travel in, I don't know, some kind of stuff like that. You get some frame rate drops right here, I don't know why is that, I think it's loading the scenery. Oh, Genoa, 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 Genoa. Genoa is down below us. That's what it is. Yeah. There we go, actually. Oh, the Genoa VOR. I thought you were near Geneva VOR. I was like, wait a minute. Why aren't you landing? Uh, and yes, the Genoa, Genoa gives some stutters or not. Uh, on your, your PSD, your next. Genoa. Oh, or here we go, let me take a screenshot here. Yeah, that's the Genova uh, airport there. You should fly from Genoa to Milano Malpensa in flight back or 820. <laughs> just, just to flex on people. I'm Avio, man. I get above 30 FPS with this <laughs> Well. Our lives the, yeah. On the autostrada, we were doing over 130 miles per hour, and the car was still pushing us along about six feet behind. Well, because a lot of Europeans, to be honest, don't know how to freaking drive. Same is in America. They hold the freaking left lane. Yes, tailgating is bad, but if you understand how to drive on a highway, you know that you shouldn't be traveling on the left lane because the left lane is not the high speed lane it's not a lane it's the passing lane so that means this reminds me of a family guy song huh this reminds me of a family guy song <laughs> i don't know the family guy song but there's a family guy song about driving in the left lane and like it's quite funny i'm not if, if there are kids watching this i'm not gonna but yeah i don't quite know funny. But I hate when people hoard the left lane because it's supposed to be your pa the passing lane. So if I have a, a freaking truck in the middle lane, which I really don't understand why trucks drive on the middle lane, you're not racing anyone. You're not racing. Stick with the freaking right lane. I understand if you have to come to the middle lane when you have to, you know, get space to the cars entering the highway, which is totally good, cool with it. But if you try the whole time on the middle lane, it doesn't make any sense. So you're forcing them, and then you got people on the left lane going either the same speed or slower than the one in the middle lane. And you'd be like, uh, all right, bro, hurry the fuck up. Like, uh, either you slow down and move back to the middle lane, or you hurry up, and uh, they don't do any of those. Dugal said, also, I, what? I those, um if you find the uh, wind windscreen reflection is annoying, if you click the bottom left part of the overall windscreen, there'll be a little click zone and you can get rid of it. Bottom left, sir. Huh? Bottom left, like on the captain's side. Bottom left, like both left. Oh. Uh, it's not annoying. Actually, it's pretty cool. I don't see the click spot though. Because, like, I don't know, like, on where I am in the stream, it looks like a giant sock. It looks like a giant, like, sock on the, like, on the right side of the thing. Oh, I see. But then, yeah, I see it now. Okay, I see there. Captain Reynolds, good day. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right, we are over, north, officially over northern Italy. And over the Alps, actually. Uh, I want to see when to start getting ready for the descent. Uh, hopefully soon. Let me see. 
Right, well, I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep. So oh no. Oh no, yeah, you're gonna getting... miss the approach. I'll probably watch it tomorrow, honestly, because I, just, I have to wake up really early tomorrow. Well, you have to go. But you have to do it, actually, boy. It's, I don't know, like, my, um, they, my boss is saying that I have to, I mean, he's just like, come tomorrow at 8 instead of at 9.30. Oh. It's like, okay. Okay, well, good night. See ya. See ya. Two or six from the top of the sand. Does it make sense? I don't think it does make it doesn't make sense much. Two o six. Um, we should reach top of the sands very soon. Fifteen sixteen Zulu. That's when we're expecting to get there. So we should be landing in. Uh, uh, I want to say 15, 16, 35 minutes, maybe? Even less. 35 minutes should be good. Trying to see if. Uh, okay, I'm over Sarono now. Um, let's see what's my. Um, what it's saying over here. Some stutters there. There's a lot of clouds actually, those clouds are above me, I believe. Okay, not anymore. Okay, let me see what we have to do here. Look at the storms over there, there's like some thunders going on underneath us. Let me see the... <clears throat> so, uh, over... We have to be Berna over here. Monin Let to bear So I'm flying over Odina now, 340, keep still Odina 340. Not really sure how, um... Well, that actually said something I like more. We got some frame drops in here just because it's loading a scenery, I believe. Yep, 25 FPS right now. So after Odina, we got a couple of uh, plans in here. So we probably had to descend a little bit earlier than I expected, but I see the weather into Berna. We're getting some, yeah, we're getting some problems here with the FPS. this 
beautiful beautiful Not a bad day for you, Captain Reynolds. Awesome, man. So winds are 060 at 7. Zero variable 030090. We still can get the node runway. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Milano Linate Airport, I believe. That sounds... That looks like Milano Linate. Yeah, we're flying over Linate Airport and it's snowy? Is that as the effect of snow? That cannot be. It's probably rainy, but because I'm a higher altitude, it depicts the temperature down below there. Uh, let me check the weather into Milan. I don't think there's even a meter on yet. Let's see the weather in Milan, Italy. It's rainy. Okay, it's rainy. So, fair enough. That's uh, it shows snow, but it's not because it's snowing. It's because uh, the temperature where I am at, it's a freezing, about freezing, and uh, it depicts it on the ground too. But once I get to the ground, it goes with the temperature. That it's, it basically depicts the temperature where the point of view is which is the plane and then it it transferred to the ground i believe that's what it is because it's not it's definitely not no snowing in italy now okay so winds are still good like that All right, guys, how's the um, streaming coming out? Uh, do you guys have any issues with the stream? It looks like it's coming out pretty good, right? Okay, let's get this one up here. Okay, we are now flying over Odina, Soson, okay, and we should start our descent, I believe, no, just has some weather change in there, last time I was in Milan, we got lost in the industrial zone, temperature was 90 degrees and no AC, man, Stream is good, smooth, and sounds good. Awesome, man. That's good. We that's good to know. <coughs> you know, let's descend to flight level two four zero. In a bit now we are over Odina after we pass Odina over Soson uh, Soson W12 
keep an eye on this um, baby over here oh okay I pressed something wrong Okay, one thing I want to do actually, uh, come back into the map mode, uh, okay. Um, which is good, hydraulics fuel, yep. Okay, so let's come back here, um, option, weather, uh, navigation. Plan mode. Um, I like to go to flight plan and see again. Odina, Sosona. Let me actually bring this one back. Okay, I see what it is. It comes over here and it does that. Okay. B key and F F I one four. Probably can go visual. Uh, we can go fly the plane manually there at that point and get everything set up from there like that. I want to say. Let's get this one again here, and the weather is on. Okay, the weather is past us, so that's good. Uh, hopefully, we don't have much clouds uh, in front of us. Try to see um, car flight plan. Okay. Sigmet, Airmet, uh, Leo, good. Uh, that's for Zurich. Okay. Detail information mobile crane, 5 kilometers, 345 mark, light, okay. Cranes, basically talking about cranes. You shall approach fixed ILS for runway 14, Oka. Also, clearance altitude values corresponded to 7 PCT, missed approach, climb gradient, race 2. Okay, so the cap A2112113, 2100. Okay, so they raised the cat values. What's this berth like for FPS, PC, and P5 performance? It's actually pretty good in performance. Um, like right now, um, what I'm getting like what 40, 40 FPS probably, and while streaming. Uh, 35 which is not bad 35 37 I think it's going up to 40 now um, which is not because of the aircraft uh, something running in the background too so as you when you when I was in the Albia uh, I was getting 70 FPS over here I'm getting a little bit less just because of, look at the cloud coverage I'm full of clouds clouds absorb plenty of uh, performance uh, to be honest but this plane actually is not bad at all I'm getting good FPS had the apps on the side there bad enough should be right in front of us by the way when people complain about the extra plane I think they need to reconsider a couple of things first of all they have a different type of a um, mentality uh, developer for xcraft are different than the developer from SSG the SSG people develop uh, are more focused on a, a type of, on uh, on uh, maybe getting the system done correctly and then move that look at that right now oh shit just missed it 
Whoa. Whoa. That was damn close, guys. I did not see the traffic. Tigas is on. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, he's here. How, how far is he? That's. I should have got a TCAS alert, bro. Where are you? Okay. That guy was very freaking close, guys. Captain Radio, HD Sim, welcome aboard. Welcome again. Um, I want to set the frequencies already, so because there will be a lot of work to do later. One one zero and one. <coughs> Sorry. One one zero at one. Actually, it's here already. One one zero at one. One one zero at one. Transponder set. I don't. Uh, okay. That's good. Let me see you in there. good. Ninety four miles from top of the sand. Uh, okay, where, let me see, I was reading the, um, information that I need here. The no terms quickly. But otherwise, this plane is actually very good. Yeah, exactly. No TCAS. I was like surprised. I think it was uh, in the alert area, but not much of a. All right. So in Bendent CBs, I'm checking now. They were running between us, but we don't have weather into there. Winds looks pretty good over there on the ground. Um, Okay, what's my next waypoint now? Monin, I should start my descent uh, actually. Yeah, I should start my descent. Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, let's get this thing done. See, I'm getting 40 FPS by the way now. Oh god. Why is that? I can't get that click spot? Oh, fool! This thing descends like a rock, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me descend at a different rate of speed though. Alright, let's get this thing going uh, and let's have the charts out quickly. Um, well, we're not doing a tell, no. You know what? I should have done the different one. I should have done this one, the... Um, 
whatever this arrival is. Because I'm right in front of. Ah, uh, no, actually, good. The Monin arrival. Monin 2, Mike. Am I still able to change it? MCDU index uh, uh, arrival. Select runway 14, good. Uh, select star. Monin 2, Mike. No man, no man, no man. Let's do this. Let's continue with this. We're well, to be eight thousand, so let's drop it. Let's drop it again. Um, Speed break deployed. JWC Lano, welcome aboard. Oh, hey, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. See over oh, free, uh, free eight thousand over Amrid, which is good, and then four thousand over Birki. Let's see how this approach is coming up, guys. Okay, so we taking runway uh, uh two three. Dougal said, dinner time for me. We'll stay on for the landing, though. Thank you so much, sir. We should be there down soon. Um, so we got over here. Hopefully, we don't have to do any procedure turns. We can just turn. 4,400. See how it climbs up? I don't like that, that it climbs up. Um, let's see. DME 6.3. At 4,000, we're gonna keep at 4,000 like that. Actually, we should be right a beam of the airport. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. That's Berna should be right here because we are a beam of it. With some clouds in front of us, so. All right. 10,000 feet AGL, we turn on the uh, landing lights on now. You're not talking about uh, 10,000 feet anymore, like a normal way, but let's see if I set the VNAV, what does, what happens here? Okay. Let's 
just plunge into the ground, guys. <laughs> Uh, the e that's one thing I noticed the E195 loves to do like a very fast descend good thing is it keeps the speed pretty good though usually all right that's uh, we are in burn let me increase the volumes here a little bit yeah let's do this come on let's have a little bit of sound engines are very quiet There's some beautiful orto down here. Okay. It's turning now. Let's take a screenshot here. I like to take screenshots, guys, if you not notice it yet. Berna should be over there. Yeah, that's the city of Berna. Let me see if I can get the view from here. Berna and the airport should be around there, I want to say. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful green Switzerland. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dubai Make sure your seatbelt was securely fastened and all carry-on luggage is stowed underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. Some little shakiness, a little bit shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Nothing too crazy and or alarming. Um, should be the airport on that side, I think, I want to say. Okay, let's get this thing up. Uh, Birki, uh, 8,000. We want to be at 8,000, but we need to descend to our flight level, which is 4,000. We're going to keep like this. We keep going like this. We don't want to descend below 8,000 until we are over Amrit. So we're going to select the next, uh, uh, you know, select our next, uh, uh, altitude it'd be perfect here if we have ATC but we don't 4,000 feet once we hit Birki we'll see if we can do uh, an, uh, let me see let me reduce this thing now oh shit like this we keep it like this okay uh, the course what's the course oh shit uh, the course is uh, 138 uh, uh, we're gonna have to set that one too uh, and the minimums is I want to see it's a beam leaving 4,000 so it's 4,000 the minimums try to see that's the decision altitude okay it's descending via the Vina in the pad and it's descending to Birki, okay. Uh, one thirty eight, we said, is the one thirty eight. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna set that on the heading bug too. Just keep, just keep saying minimums now. Hold up. Uh, hold up. Oh, it's doing, it's doing a, a procedural turn. Okay. Let's reduce the speed though. To 170 we should have been that speed actually way too fast
We're descending below minimums. Don't do that. Okay, it's first time doing this approach, so bear with me, guys. Oh shit, we're not going that low. This is weird to act on a flight like this, like uh That's not something is working out. We're gonna get this thing done quickly, guys. The autopilot it's not owning the thing I want. Okay, let's set this one to shut up. Um FMS no, but we're gonna set to localizer. Localizer one one thirty eight. Okay, and then we do the approach. All right, we've set over here. We're going to pass the city. 175 on the speed we can reduce the speed to 150 okay we actually passed the first waypoint are we yeah roads going manual Don't want to descend below 4,000 though, even though the light, light slope actually want to, want to stay at this altitude now. My throttles, flight directors, everything is on mine. Okay, we're gonna stay east of the gear down. We've got the railroad down below here. Oh, this is not easy. So, we got visuals, so 
keep 138. The runway, it's, it's right there. That's the airport. All right, we got the beacon there. That's good. The village is here. We want to be basically, we're going to be turning after the construction place. Oh shit, it was the performance. Uh, say like this. It's uh, flaps full one twenty six. Flaps. Okay, we passed the construction site. Uh, here we go, doing our turn. Basically, keep an eye on that road because it's going to be basically following down that road to all the way to the runway. It should come up right there. That's the runway there. Oh, don't lose speed. Approaching three, two. And no altitude, good. Okay, we're good on here. Good high. A little bit fast too. Poof, okay. This is not gonna be nice guys, I'm telling you right now. I never landed a plane on the other side. Speed were perfect. Five thousand feet remaining. Do we land? Yeah. We Four thousand remaining. Three thousand remaining. God, that was not. Let me see if I can take this exit here. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign. Oof. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe for you to move about. At this time, you may use your cellular phones if you wish. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have uh, switch it to the F when opening the overhead bin. Captain position. Welcome aboard and welcome uh, oh golden uh, just in time, yeah. The tiny freaking taxiway by the way. On behalf of the entire crew, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip and we are looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Yeah, this is not I, I just think this is not a good way to get in. Approaching one four. <laughs> yeah, it was hot breaks for sure. Four and six. Uh, okay, good. Whew, that was. <laughs> I don't want to know what the landing rate is. I don't want to know it because it's probably pretty horrendous. On runway one four flaps flaps. We're not taking off. Take the next one. <coughs> if you
if you're starting up landing lights can go off uh, oh shit this thing went okay ladies and gentlemen the captain has turned on the fashion seatbelt sign if you haven't already done so please stay your carry on luggage underneath the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt also make sure your seat back and folding trays are in their full upright and locked position we remind you that this is a non-smoking flight smoking is prohibited on the entire aircraft including the lavatory no, it was good, really good. You're right. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I probably bounced it, though. I probably bounced it. And that's Berna, guys. That's the airport of Berna. That's the terminal. Let's switch off, actually. That We don't need these lights, because... Got it rolling here. I think it said minus 56? Are you kidding me? I don't think it's minus 56. I, it felt harder than that. That's good enough. Fucking break set. Uh. <coughs> Let's see, 100% on the uh, APU, good. APU gen can go on. Okay, the gens are on. Uh, engine shut down. I feel like these engines shut down too quickly, though, to be honest. Too fast, too quick. Okay. Yeah, it's really off. And let's see, red beacon light can go off. All right, guys, let's not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and join us on Discord. Brakes are set. Everything is set. The chrono can go off. Uh, actually, um, now we're nine minutes basically. Okay, cool. Uh, project fly can go off uh, complete the flight yes yeah, it's landing rate minus 56 I don't know is it correct or not Captain Reynolds thank you so much sir let me <coughs> sorry guys and now 27 minutes on block time which is good um, we'll do the approach then and see and everything else uh, uh, let's get the GPU connected and disembark actually let's do the replay let's disconnect now I want to see the replay. I'm so impatient. Sorry, guys. I've never landed from that side. Okay. Yeah, there is an ILS on Bern, but there's no... Um, that's the visual approach you have to follow here. As you, I'll show you guys. So, you break off, and then you go on a visual, okay? 4.7 visual you go on and there's a noise abatement procedure basically near the a1 highway and then you stay off uh, you stay on the left side of the uh, uh, railway system the railroad um take a turn here basically there is a, a construction zone avoid overflying on rubin village here you go gravel plant and that's exactly what um uh, we've been looking at I will see it later and then you come out over here on final runway three two two three three two shit uh let's have a look now let's do a, a nice little wait a come on let's do a full Want to do a full approach? Yeah. Let's do a full approach. 
All right, over here, and then we'll do a little commentary too. So once we pass a road, um, which is this one here, I want to say. Yeah, because that's the knot. All right, once we pass this road, actually, we're going to go towards, going to turn left, okay? And pass this area here. Of course, the map doesn't show it, but we here. Okay, that's the A1 road coming up, up in front of us. Actually, we just pass it. Here we go. And that's a disconnect the autopilot, start turning, and then we're going to go visual from here on. This is a pretty tough approach, guys. Especially on the second officer uh, seat, it's not an easy approach. Uh, for me, everything was, the, I always flew on the left side. Even as a commercial pilot, when we do flight training, we always be on the left side. Some power on, because we're losing some altitude, guys, here. And then we're going to stay on this side, as you guys can see. In real life, this would be much easier because you always can keep an eye on the out of the windows and keep eye on the. But over here, you need, you need to move your view. I think I bounced it, but I had to check that. See, so we got the a beam of the runway. We can start the descent. So that's when we start kind of like our descent towards it. We can leave 4,000. You can leave 4,000. Once you have visual, you can leave 4,000. But uh, that's the recommended uh, altitude. But. You can see there's two tiles uh, of Orto here. It's actually, Orto looks actually pretty good to be honest. And here we go, the construction site. Okay, the construction site doesn't come with the uh, or with the scenery. I added this building just to make it a little bit more clear that this is a construction site. You see, I added a couple of things just to you know. And then a construction site here, we turn, make our turn past that construction site. The village is right there. Oh, I wish we had these trees set up a little bit better. The runway is there. I'll definitely try this approach once again. Get over the highway again. And there's a mountain actually right next to us there. Look at that beauty, guys. This is beautiful. Gorgeous view. There's a house and everything here, I think. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, okay, these things, I, I added these things just to make it a little bit nicer. Just so I can make sure because the auto was not giving me the... The shadow sucks. It sucks a lot, actually. <laughs> I think it's a little bit more than 56. I think it was a bit more than 56 feet per minute, guys. That's just my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, for your 
safety and comfort. Please remain seated with your Yeah, that was brakes hot, definitely. Let's get this view on this side. Get this snapshot here quickly. Okay. There's a bounce. There's a bounce, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you bounced it. I did bounce it. Uh, was a pretty good landing, though, guys. I think it was still good. Let's see if this view... Of course, I was a little bit to the this side of the runway. This approach needs a lot of practice. You gotta go, or I man. Thank you, actually. Thank you, Dugal, for when uh, we we'll see you next time. Thank you, Dugal. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's have a, a view from the tower, which of course, it's... Hit that. Let's see the whole approach, yeah, why not? Not the whole thing, but... Here we go, coming in to land, turning, straight up the, the wing level a little bit so that I can see where the position, I think bear, yeah, there's a thing that says bear not here, bear in here. Let's keep an eye on this guy again. Uh, I want to see the up to transition from the straight level, yep. Start my turn over the city there, uh, actually the, the village. I'm curious to see real pilots doing this approach, how they perform. I don't think they... There you go. Right on the touchdown zone, though. Yeah, that was a bounce. It was not a bad landing, guys. It was uh, pretty rough. It's not an easy landing. Um, of course, could have been done, perform a little bit better. But actually, I'm not. Uh, I'm actually pretty satisfied. Uh, I want to try to do this flight again on as in uh, as in the captain seat. And see if I can align myself a little bit better than that. 
A tiny bounce, yeah, that was not a big bounce, but let me see. I see like one there. It went up a little bit, also the runway went down, so the second bar the second bounce was actually there. You can see how the wind is pushing me to the side too. Try to keep a center line. Okay, look at this. It's such a weird effort, guys. I freaking like it. I think I'm gonna do more flights out of Berna. Right on the touchdown zone, though, guys. It's a very short runway. It's a very freaking short runway, guys. So, I think... Oh, let me get this thing. The screenshots here. So, it's not a bad landing. Anyone in the chat can tell me what's the land of London City? I was wondering if it's the same or even less. Boom, here we go. I did a, when I practiced this approach, actually I did a pretty good landing. Um, I'm not, of course you're in the strain, doesn't come up like that, but. All right guys, it's time for me to say good night for you, uh, for you guys in Europe especially. Um, I'm gonna leave, I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave you with the replay here. I might come in back into stream tonight uh, for some US operations and we'll see. Uh, thank you so much everyone for watching. Golden Ninja GT5, Dugal, the HD Sim, Captain Reynolds, Captain Sim, Flight Surgeon, uh, HD Sim, Sneaker Gamer, Alan A and everyone else that tuned in. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. You guys are amazing. We'll see you next time. Uh, we'll be probably today. I don't know. We'll see. But tomorrow for sure for uh, an early morning streaming in uh, Europe. And uh, we'll probably take the 737-800 from Rana and see where we can go. But thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. We'll see you next time. Take care for now. Avio Man is out. And blue skies, everyone.
Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seat belt fastened until the captain turns off the fasten seat belt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe for you to move about. At this time, you may use your cellular phones if you wish. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have brought on board with you and please use caution when opening the overhead bin, as heavy articles may have shifted around during the flight. If you require deplaning assistance, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have deplaned.